Hi, this is Tali and welcome to Builder.com. I'm here at the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California, and I'm standing here with Robin from Midnight Solar, and he's going to talk to us about the company's new MPPC charge controller that they have on display here. So, hi, Robin. Hi there. So, Robin, can you uh, explain what an MPPC charge controller is and how it works? Sure. A maximum PowerPoint tracker is what it stands for. Uh, the old way of doing charge controllers that we all used to do back in the 90s was called a pulse width modulation controller, PWM controller. And basically what we had to do back then was if you had a 12 volt battery, you had to have a 12 volt solar panel. That means you couldn't go very far away from the batteries, otherwise you had to have very large, very expensive wire. With maximum PowerPoint trackers, you get to go up in voltage. Let's talk in 12 volt terms. Well, I mentioned we can go up to 250 volts operating, but we'll talk in 12 volt terms because it's easier to understand. The old way, let's say you have a 60 watt solar panel. 60 watt panel can put out three amps of power of current at 20 volts. You'll never see those two things simultaneously, but that's how they rate a 60 watt panel. Well, with a 12 volt battery, you can only charge a battery up to about, let's say, 14 volts. If you go above 14 volts, you're going to destroy the battery. So your 60 watt panel, it can put out 3 amps at 14 volts. Now it's capable of putting out 20 amps, but you know the charge controller limits it to 14, let's say. Well power is voltage times current. So 3 amps times 14 volts, what is that? 42 watts? Something like that. So you'll get 42 watts out of your 60 watt solar panel. Well, remember I said that that 60 watt panel is capable of putting out 20 volts maximum. It actually puts out the most power at about 18 volts. So the maximum power point tracker allows the solar panel to operate at this higher voltage. And it acts like a DC to DC transformer. It converts the voltage down to that 14 volts. So what happens if you can now put out 18 volts out of that solar panel, you'll still get 3 amps out of it. So what's 18 volts times 3 amps? So that's 56 watts. You just went from 42 watts to 56 watts because you have a, a maximum power point tracker. Now multiply that times 20 or 30 solar panels or 10,000 watts of solar panels and now you're talking a real power difference. This is the classic charge controller be coming out in early 2010. Some of the features of this charge controller over some of the other ones on the market are extremely high voltage input. We can go all the way up to 300 volts open circuit. Uh, this is an MPPT controller for not only solar but for wind as well as hydro systems. Uh, it does have built-in Ethernet. It has a built-in USB port as well as RS-232. Uh, it also talks to you. In fact, let me show you something here. I am the voice of Midnight Solar. Spectacular. It didn't cost much to add voice to it, but uh, we're going to have a little fun with this. Uh, but some of the more serious features of this, uh, we've found that using MPPT for wind, and this is the world's first charge control that will do that, you can get up to three times the power out of your wind turbine. A lot of variables here, but a lot of wind turbines, you will get three times the power. Uh, as far as the solar, you can now go further away. Sometimes the, the sun doesn't shine right next to your house. You need to go hundreds of feet away from your house. And that means you need to go high voltage unless you want to spend a lot of money on a wire, on big wire. So we allow you to go 250 volts, 300 volts. Um, this is its own web server, so you can get on the, let's say you're on the beach in Spain with a laptop computer. You can actually call up your house in Denver, Colorado and tell it to melt the snow off of your solar panels. You can actually work backwards and melt snow as well. Uh, some of the other features are auxiliary outputs where you can reuse the power. Let's say your batteries are charged and you still have power available. We have two aux circuits that can dump power into heating water and things like that. Uh, it's just the most sophisticated charge controller in the world. We've been doing charge controllers for, for eight years now. And, uh, well, we've learned a lot. Great. Um, so can you talk a bit about what makes your charge controller different from other charge controllers on the market? 
Yeah, other charge controllers only go up to 150 volts. That, that is a limit that industry has wanted to surpass. We have a 150, 200, and a 250 volt charge controller. Other features that people have wanted for forever is to be able to control things over the internet. Let's say you're a dealer or an installer and you get a customer calling up saying my batteries are dead. Well, we have 32 megabytes of memory built into the controller. So if you're an installer, if they have a broadband connection, the installer can actually call up their, their customer's system, access the information on the controller, and diagnose what the problems were, and correct them. Uh, it'll be just like they're standing here pushing buttons. Um, this also can print out graphs, it can make an Excel spreadsheet, so you can save data, you can look at trends. Uh, gosh, there's just so many features this can do, it's hard to even, you know, describe them all. But uh, there will be lots of features, uh, the data sheet on our website soon. So what's your quality control on this product? Uh, well, the quality control is similar to what I've been doing for the last 35 years of power electronics. We have very specific custom-made board testers that actually test every component on the board, test every solder joint. Then you have functional testing. We do actually conformal coat our boards, which a lot of people do not do. Uh, it keeps corrosion to a minimum. Uh, we do final testing after the units are assembled. And then we will even have a policy towards the end of your warranty, which is a five-year warranty, where you can send it in and we will rebuild the whole thing as required for some minimal charge and give you an extended warranty. Basically, we don't want these to ever fail. Great. And uh, when will this product be available on the market? Well, the beta units are out there now. We just have another batch going out next month. Production should start very early uh, January or February next year. So who would you be selling the product to? We sell through the distribution model. All the major solar distributors already carry the Midnight Solar line. So we'll, we'll continue that vein. Internationally, uh, we'll be setting up many more distributors. Great. Okay. Well, Robin, thank you so much for talking to us. This is Tali from Buildroo.com reporting to you from the 2009 Solar Power International Conference in Anaheim, California. Thank you for watching.